Hello everybody, I'm Richard Hyatt and I'm on my search for sourwood in Franklin, North Carolina. And behind me you'll see there's a mimosa tree. That is a competition for sourwood, probably not what you want to have in your sourwood. But that's what you get when you have invasive species brought in by our pioneers. I really don't know anything about mimosa except that it breaks real easy and the limbs fall down. It's a pretty tree but they tell me the honey's not very good. So it's a competition to your sour wood. And that's probably not a good thing. Hey Richard, you got your sour wood supers on yet? No, I've been doing other things like making videos for YouTube. I really haven't had time. You're going to miss out if you don't get your sour wood, honey. And I don't even know what sour wood looks like. Is, is this it? You think? Well, you know, it's not too late. You really should get those supers on. Is this it? Do you think? You know you need to get those supers off and get that honey extracted so you can put your sour wood on. Well, you know I had company and I haven't had really time to get out there and doing that. It takes a lot of time to make videos and have company, you know. I'd rather have company. It's more fun. What do you mean? Don't you like video? Don't you like to make videos? Of course I do, but, you know, when you have granddaughters here, you got to go with her. And you ain't got time for those bees. You ain't got time for those bees. You'll be swarming all over the place. And sour wood is expensive. Well, I've already driven probably 150 miles trying to get this video together. And it's just taking a lot of time. You think the people are even interested? Are you guys interested? Are you going to subscribe? I need those hours. Watch this thing, please. Now you're just being rude. You need to stop that. You need to get off your, mm, off your, um, yeah, get off there and get out there and get those sour wood honeys done. Well, I got to finish this video first, and there's two more. Two more videos about sourwood. Well, get on it, old man. It's about time you got going. You got to stop doing this stuff. You got to get to work. But I'm old. I'm tired. That stuff is heavy. Them bees are a lot of trouble. They sting. <sighs> hey, folks. Maybe it's time you should get out there and do those supers. Put them on. Because Richard ain't doing it. Well, not yet. Richard is doing it. But got to do it in between making these videos and putting them. I got a lot of editing to do. Hey, if you like it, subscribe. I love it. Now, next couple of weeks, it's going to be sourwood time. And I'll be trying to put some videos up on what they look like. Because this ain't it. Nope, this is not it. I hope you enjoyed this. So let's go find some sourwood now. I hope you like this banter. Well, I hope you like this banter, but we need to get out there and find that sourwood. Let's go show the people what sourwood really looks like. There's some over by the library. Okay, let's go. And I've been out and searching for sourwood trees, and this is not one of them. But I do want to point out that sourwood has a leaf very similar to this. And right to my left over here, there's a sourwood tree. And we're going to go over there and check that out. I'm here in front of the Franklin, North Carolina Library. It's good to be out here on this foggy morning. Check this out. Yes, sir, it's certainly foggy this morning. And over here is our old sourwood tree. Let's move over, let's move over and take a little closer look. Now this is the real deal. Got the flowers here just coming out. These, I can see, are just barely open. So it's June 30th, and according to Bob Benny, in Otto, North Carolina, which is about seven miles south of here, the season would be about January 4th. It could start as early as January 1, or January 8th, a little bit later. This tree has been blooming, I know, for probably a week now. I was out here and that's when I found it. So here, I have a book, 100 Plants Feed the Bees by the Xerox Society. And it talks about sourwood somewhere here. Let me see if I can find it. There it is, number 68. And it shows it growing to the south part of the United States. 
from the Gulf Coast all the way up to Washington, D.C., and further west to Illinois. It may not be that it grows prolifically in those states. Now, if you look closely, you can see that there's a lot of flowers here aren't even opened up yet, so June 1st may be a little early. There are some. I don't know how many bees will be after this later today, because there's only a little bit open, just these little flowers right here. The rest of them aren't open yet. So June 1st may be a time to put your supers on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, certainly not past July 4th, I don't think, because it does look like these will be open by July 4th. But that's a good example of sourwood for sure. Well, here's another example of sourwood that I found in the parking lot. I was kind of surprised. I didn't see this earlier this morning. And this tree, there's just barely a few of the ones that are open here. So yeah, we're right at the beginning of the sourwood season on June 30th. It's time to put supers on, I guess. Yeah, I thought maybe I was a little early or a little late, but looks like I might be right on time. I'm gonna be putting those supers on the next couple days. This tree is in the parking lot by the library in Franklin, North Carolina, right there in the parking lot. You can come and see it if you're in the area. It'll be a great tree for you to come out and identify sourwood because a lot of these leaves look the same. Now these have very little tooths on the edge, but there is a little bit. The top of it's kind of waxy and the bottom is kind of dull. So yeah, those are things you can look for. This leaf is about, what, four inches, three inches, three and a half, something like that. And the flowers look like little bells. They sure are pretty little things, aren't they? Nice little tree. If it was a little sunnier, maybe there'd be some bees on here. But they're probably not out yet this morning. It's still kind of cool, probably, what, about 8.30, I guess? All right, well, I just want to make this little video, a little short video to go so that you can have a preview of what's going on with the sourwood. Now, one of the things about the sourwood is that it's got this little colorful leaf in the fall. Here, these are already turning color. So later on this year, they'll turn to a kind of a reddish orange, well, a reddish, yeah, orange, yes, into a reddish orange color. They make a pretty fall tree that way, kind of a fiery yellow orange. I want to make this video just so that I could have a little shorter video to go on about hunting for sourwood. Now, the next few days, I'm not sure exactly when, I've got a long, a 20 minute maybe, video that I'm editing that will be about looking for sourwood and taking Charlie along. He does a little swimming in the creek and yeah, you might want to enjoy watching that too. So I'll put a link up there at the end. So if you want to watch that, subscribe and then go to this video right here. End the video.